What's going on guys? Shane here with Fight Tips' MMA coach, Vince the Anomaly. What's up guys? Today we are going to be covering calf kicks. You may have seen these uh, being used a lot in MMA lately in fights like Douglas Lima versus Rory McDonald. Jeremy Stevens used them a lot against Gilbert Melendez. They're very effective strikes, uh, really good to add to your arsenal. We're going to be covering a couple of different setups, how to land the kick and also how to defend them. Nice. Let's take a look. Before we get into our calf kicks, we're going to give you a little bit of an anatomy lesson first. Okay. Look at this ruler here. This is going to be your tibia or Shane's tibia. If he places that along on the inside, you'll notice there's a sharp blade over here. On this side, it's backed by the rest of the ruler. Okay. If I hit the ruler this direction, you know it's going to break. There's not much support over there. However, if I turn the blade over and I hit with the blade part of the ruler, it's going to be a lot harder to break and there's a lot more impact. There's a lot more force that's hurting you right here. Yeah. So we want to apply the same principle to our kicks here in general, especially our calf kicks. When I'm attacking Shane, I don't want to attack him straight on and kick shin to shin like that. That's really going to hurt. I want to kick on the outside where I'm hitting him on the weak part of his shin, on the weak part of his legs. And I'm also going to be attacking with that sharp blade. So I'm coming across, same like I would any other kick, and I'm making sure I turn that over so I'm hitting with the blade. I'm not hitting with the flat part of my shin. I know most of you guys have seen that Anderson Silva, Chris Weidman, the second fight, that nasty leg break. Yeah. You know, it really happened because Anderson was just slapping these kicks in and he wasn't really turning them over. So he hit Weidman's knee with this part of the ruler instead of this part and that's why it snapped so easily. So be sure that when we're throwing these kicks, we're chopping to the outside with the blade of our shin. When I land this calf kick, I'm gonna be attacking this part of the calf, I can hit the outside or this part of the shin, and I'm gonna be taking a little side step and coming around and kicking through, okay? So one thing I like to do to set that up is I'm gonna throw a hook on Shane. At the same time, I'm gonna shuffle my feet out and whip my leg around so I have a nice angle and I can hit that part of the shin. So let's see it a few times. Just those three, I felt. Oh, right. so, <laughs> Sorry. No, no, okay. <laughs> Another reason why this calf kick is so effective is we're attacking this meaty part of the leg that actually isn't so meaty compared to up here. Our thighs are pretty conditioned to take those kicks. You've been doing them if you've been training Muay Thai, kickboxing, MMA. Almost everyone's throwing the kicks here, so we're used to getting hit there and we know how to brace for them. However, when we're hit, getting hit, Right here on this outside of our leg, it's, it's not fun and the leg's just not conditioned. So it's gonna hurt a lot faster and your kick's gonna be a lot more effective if you're looking to actually damage your opponent and uh, you wanna slow him down during the fight. This is definitely an area where I'm gonna wanna attack. And now for MMA, sometimes when I kick up a little bit higher on the leg like your traditional leg kick, it's gonna be a lot easier for my opponent to, to sit down and start bum rushing me or sit down and start going in for a takedown. So if I'm stepping in tight, I'm throwing a nice leg kick right here, but let's say Shane times it well, and he's gonna grab exactly and push right through with a, a strike or a takedown. We don't want that to happen. So one thing I've been doing a lot lately in my last few fights is using this calf kick because I'm not really compromising my position. So notice, I'm staying right here, and even if I'm not taking that step to the outside, even if I'm just staying right here, I don't need to really move much. So if I throw this and slap this kick in, it's gonna be a lot harder for Shane to get in on me. So almost like a jab, I'm keeping my distance still. I'm able to land this shot without compromising my position at all really. So that's why I really love using this calf kick. Just as a general strike too, use it as a jab. You can also use it as more of a power shot if we are taking that step and cutting around to the outside. Okay, let's talk about defending against this kick. So let's say Vince is throwing that calf kick, right? He's aiming right for that leg. Let me see where that comes in at. Boom. Okay, so the angle at which it's coming in, there's less range on that kick than there is if you were to go up towards the thighs, which means two things. One, I can evade it easy. So when he throws that kick, all I have to do is kind of just shift back, right? Take a step back, take the target away from him, and just make him miss completely. From there, we can follow up with a counter and make him pay. Another thing that we can do is make him pay by checking the kick and doing damage to his foot. So he's aiming to hit me with the sharp part of that ruler, the blade, right? So throw that kick one more time. If I just take my foot back a little bit and turn it out on that 45 degrees, I don't even have to lift my leg up high. In fact, I wanna keep it low because the top part of my shin, the tibial tuberosity, is gonna do more damage to his foot. There's a bunch of small bones in his foot. So when he throws that kick, if I turn it out, boom, and he hits and makes contact with his foot on my shin, my one large bone is gonna do more damage to his small bones. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. So practice the calf kicks. Go light with them in sparring. You don't want to hurt your partner, especially because they're going to start using them back on you. But at least you know how to defend against them. Until next time, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane. I'm Vince. Fight tips for the underdogs.